everyone to a Merktide video. Every Sunday on the YouTube channel, I got a Merktide Regent Modern deck going up. If you're interested in checking out the past ones, there's a compilation, a playlist, so you will be able to find them all. Uh, today I am playing with a tiny splash of white. This is a I think that went on at the beginning of Modern Horizons too. People were splashing white for a favorite prismatic ending. And uh, Wild Teferi is a really good card at the moment, stopping Cascade decks, which are sitting at the top of the metagame right now, together with you know this deck and Four Color. Uh, the reason for splashing Prismatic Ending, it's pretty much non-existent. You already have Bolt and Anoli Heat, that's plenty of removals, you don't need to splash also Ending. We are not playing the Shredder, the Ledger Shredder this, this time. We have uh, Archmage's Charm and Merktai Regent. Uh, as well as Teferi, and that's kind of like the flex slots that you can't afford to. I mean, I'm even, I even cut down to one Merc. This list comes from Piagonti, he's a, a Italian a prolific um, Merc type player. Uh, I like to try the Teferi, and I like this list. 19 lands, again, because of the raising the curve to Teferi, you have to play one more land, especially with the Hallowed Fountain, without reducing any red land. Of course you are reducing a red land, because it's like we're playing five islands, two fountain, one Otawara, two basic islands, so. Uh, we might have games where we draw a Hallowed Fountain and no, and no red sources, and that's, and that's why uh, two colors is superior than three colors if you, if you don't need to. And I said there's a new card once again, a licensed hearse. The card has proven to be very strong uh, lately in multiple formats. I am happy to have them around, it's a very cool card. I'm mostly good against this deck, huh? I guess this is one of the reasons why we have only three Mark died is that uh, I've, I've played a lot against a lot of these. Uh, some white uh, for hate bears. We got one Melee Mage, one Kataki, one Dranith Magistrate. Pretty random, but um, this deck has a lot of cantrips with Channeler. You get to see a lot of cards, so adding one ofs is. This deck is a deck for the one ofs for sure. Uh, yeah, subtlety. I asked uh, people ask me why do I play subtlety? Mostly it's because of Titan. This Titan casts a primeval Titan with the Cavern of Souls, and you go subtlety. You could have met Magus of the Moon, but especially in three color, you can't really play a Moon. But in general, I found out that uh, there's just not that many decks that you want Moon at the moment in the format. The meta game shifted since Moon was a good card, so it's important that you follow the meta game. Yeah, the rest of the deck is uh, Nurse of Suburb is the classic one. Dress Down, Dispute, Floss of Storm. And also the deck is pretty much the classic. I think the biggest change is, of course, the Teferi and Charm. And um, you have like one land, two Teferi, one Charm. So like the four flex slots. I didn't think that Merkta number four was the flex slot. But honestly, with the amount of unlicensed there is I'm seeing, I can get behind cutting one Merk died. Okay. Mm -hmm. With three Archmage's Charm and three Teferi, that's a lot of three drops. So it's going to be important to uh, think about the uh, land drop situation and the mulligan situation because sometimes, most of the times with this deck, you're fine with two lands. But if you have five three drops, you might need to keep the third land. For example, if you see it with a Mishra's Bubble Fetch land or if you see it with a Channeler Scry surveil. So it's important to know how you're building your deck because if you only play three, let's say instead of these three cards, that you had one Merc Tide, two Ledger Shredder. The third land drop wasn't as necessary, but with five three drop, then it is. No, got paired, but it immediately failed. Good morning, everyone. How's it going? Ah. Two days. We're going to be playing uh, two modern leagues today. One with this 
and then I'll decide I'll decide later what the next one's going to be. Okay. We found an opponent. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Male some face. Ah. Hey, this ends up be very good if we find a land, huh? A red land. It, it, yeah, no, it's okay. I'll mulligan this. Okay. Glad I mulliganed. Uh, what do I bottom here? Hmm. I think it's one of these one drop. Hmm. I think it'll be an only heat. We play a lot of removal spell in this deck. I know that you want to like kill the blockers so that Ragavan gets through. But most of the times Ragavan just get bolted. They don't actually put a blocker for it. Bigger foundry. Goblin guy. Cool. Glad they drew his purple of canal. Yeah, unfortunately I put a blocker for it, so we had an only heat. Wish I had an only heat. We pass. I'm waiting for another an only heat, I guess. I can also control the goblin guide. Aaron Blaze. Island. And of course, uh, uh, three color is worse against burn because you have Aluid Fountains and three drops that you don't care to cast in your deck. Okay. Draw. Nice, very good draw. Heal the guide. And they can't even tap it in response. That's not how it works. Uh, sure, I'll keep another one of that. Then attack for five. Making a treasure or another searing uh, spell pierce, another searing blaze. Okay, they drew a land. Their guide, boom. And we exiled another land. Okay. That's fine. Open my deck, I have an Archmage's Charm. I feel very good. Rectide, yeah, today, one day earlier, because I won't be streaming tomorrow. Okay, Eidolon, it's fine. I have one card in end. I draw the charm. And I'll simply attack with these two guys here. They have Lining Neelix on top, that's good to know. Wow, they take it? Sure. What? No way, this is, this is a mistake. I should have never took it, especially after I revealed the Lightning Neelix. Okay. Yeah, I can see this is a shame concession, of course. It's okay. I was most likely winning this game. All right, Teferi, thank you for your time. Now time to go to the sideboard. Mm, I'm gonna bring in some plus the storm instead, and then I think I like subtlety as well. Uh, maybe not. So the bad cards in this matchup are iterations. Maybe I can do this. Yeah, iteration isn't good against burn. I can cut one hollow at fountain. Yeah, I think I cut Aloe with Fountain. It's like an island, a Shockland island. Okay, let's keep. 
I don't think I want a subtlety a goblin guide. Or a swift spear. Give subtlety mostly for Eidolon, I think that's the the card I'm the most concerned about. Alright, I was going to play Channel or Bubble, but instead I'm just going to play a Noli Heat here. Just making sure... Uh, okay, I don't play Bubble because I'm going to subtle the, the, the idol if they cast it. I don't mind about missing a land drop here. Unfortunately, I will not play at the Popper Garden, no. I will be in Sweden to commentate on the modern Malmo tournament. Modern 50k. That's a good event. Okay, so if they go land, I don't know, we got it. If they just have burn spell, okay, it looks like that's what they have, just burn spell. Cool. Like this and that, looking for a land. If I find it, I don't. I'm not delirious, that's okay. They have the Rift Bolt on top. And they go Boris Charm me probably. Oh, both. I have four cards in end. Bro. Not that. Spring Blaze. Yep. I got two, nine. Oh, we haven't made a land drop. That's important to know. And have the Lyra. Alright, let's dress Pablo of Kanal, shall we? Braga Bun. They have a Searing Blaze in end. Uh, sorry, a Rift Bolt in end. I can go greedy with a Consider, but I think I'd rather go Braga Bun here. That will give me the, the, the. Just ramp me in next turn. They drew a land, let's see if they have another Searing Blaze. Hopefully not. Okay, I think I am considering uh, subtlety this. Not a huge play, but I'm definitely behind, so I need to discard two cards in exchange of uh, buying a bit of time. Let's see what they put a card. They, let's see. They put it on the bottom. Okay, so it was in fact a force of will. And they have in a rift bolt and a mystery card. And the mystery card is drum roll. No, it's not. Okay, it's not a burn spell. Hmm. So I talk with Ragaban. Yeah, I think I'll play Merc Tile. Let's see what I hit first. I hit a Swift Spear. Right, they put it on the bottom though, that's funny. Uh, am I considering going Double Channeler instead of Merc Tide? That's probably that's more damage actually, to think about it. Yeah, I want to play the Swift Spear. That looks not very good. But this is two three threes that will make me maybe play. I mean, this is two three threes. That make me play a bolt defense. So they do end of turn. Oh crap. Alright, I'm on three life here with that rift bolt. They drew a fiery eyelet. Or oh sanctifier and back. Aha, now I wish I played the Merc Tide. Yeah. I still got Delirium regardless, though. I want a Bolt in upkeep. In order to cast Regent, I have to draw exactly... Let me think, because if I Bolt in upkeep, they go to 13. They attack for 6, they go to 7. I just, I guess I just need to draw another Bolt at that point. It's not, it's not easy. I think I just draw.
This goes in exile. This. Huh. I think this goes on top, actually. Yeah. Now I can bubble you. You have a lightning bolt? Ah, uh, yeah. I was hoping that would just straight up cast the lightning bolt. Because if they cast line, the Rift Bolt, they can flash the Storm it. Whereas I can't flash the Storm the Lightning Bolt. Alright, I go to Tanier. Love that I got Delirium through the Sanctifier. That's not easy. Without Serum Visions. They attack me down to 4. Might actually win this game. They suspend Rift Bolt and pass with Lightning Bolt up. Oh, don't do anything. Draw. Attack. I win. This is game over. They only have Lightning Bolt in end. Attack for eight. And then I bolt them. Crazy. If they didn't attack with a Sanctifier, I could have not found the... Wow, we won on one land, eh? Isn't that, isn't that crazy? That we won on one land. On turn six. It's a pretty cool match. They shoot Ragavan they won. When in their turn? No, I always had plus the storm. I always had plus the storm. The only way to not um, kill me there is. Um... Oh, you mean in their turn? Instead of suspending Rift Bolt, they just tap one mana play Lightning Bolt on Ragavan. Yeah, that's not a line that could have. That, that could that wouldn't have let them die. I mean, but this was the easier, right? Because they only they already had six damage with. I shouldn't have attempted this, but yeah, pretty pretty sick that we got a win out of one land on turn six. Ooh. Okay. All right, find another opponent. Let's go join match. Thank you, TMT. You look at. So much for the support. Welcome to the stream. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Now I have to decide. Oh, the ninth month. That's the Raviolo bag. I have to decide which card to bottom. Um, I think it'll be a Mishra's bubble. If they don't kill Ragavan, you're probably winning the game regardless. So might as well just keep a second Ragavan. Oh, you were named? Oh, okay. Okay, hello. They also marked the six. Let's go. Volcanic Island, Ragaban. Do I want to play Bubble? Nah. Only bad thing if not playing Bubble is if they go Esper Sentinel, but most likely they'll trade afterwards. So. Wow, they don't have a remote. They don't have a removal. I guess we're gonna use uh, Ragavan as a removal. And then I'll deploy a new one. Uh, I'm also going to bubble myself now. Oh, 
So I bubble myself. Top card is the fourth Ragavan. Hmm. I don't think I want it. Two life more important that um, hoping to top that one of our six instants. I think it's not. I think I'm gonna take two damage here. This is the game of the Ragavans, apparently. I think I'm gonna pass after trading and leave up uh, counter spell for expressive iteration. Oh, wow, is this the mirror match? <laughs> Could be. All right, they don't have stress iteration. They just pass. Wrong. They have no arc mate charm up. I hope I also draw land. To leave up arc mate charm. I draw iteration, which is gonna eat an arc mate charm, or a spell fears, or a counter spell. This is like not resolving. I promise that I am tapping out sorcery speed, so I'm gonna be able to resolve their card. We are now able to play like I don't know Merc. Actually, Merc is quite small, so maybe they don't. But I don't feel good about this game. I'm gonna manage to survive two Ragavans without having removals, just because I also didn't have removal. This list uh, plays ra seven removal spells, three only Lightning Bolt. I don't know what I feel about that. Yeah, yeah that's a mirror match. Cool. Mirror match. Chandler. Hmm. I think I want to kill Chandler over Teferi. But I've also played Regent, but that would be just too small, plus I take away my Delirium. Okay, that's a third land, I'm happy about it. Uh, I can either go Divination, that's never too bad about going Divination. But I've also gone uh, Ragabandash. But that doesn't use all my mana. Okay. The white card, yeah, it's only a couple of Teferi. I guess it's going to be impactful. In every blue matchup for sure. The an ease of guild gate. Wouldn't was to three, they play land that they might just have not that much going on. Uh, I think I'm okay in just dashing Ragaban now. Seeing it die and that's fine. Mm, yeah, I'll go face. Uh, no, I think I want to draw the channeler there. You can go. Yeah, the cyber is interesting for sure. It's a bunch of one ups. Okay. One is the fairy zone three. Maybe they get greedy and minus. Then I lock my counter spells. Nope, they go up. Rightfully so. Uh, 
So here I want to play Chandler. And I want to play a very, very tiny Merc Tide. Like a Merc Tide that uh, delves away. Like, it's going to be a 4 4. That's my big C's. Agent CM, love it. Agent sent CM ninety nine. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the prime. And the uh, yeah, we're I think we're you, we can easily say that we're losing this match to the Teferi because we couldn't use our counter spell to back it up. And yeah, I mean I could have only hit the Teferi instead of the uh, instead of the Darcy, then the Darcy would also have my opponent drawing the right cards and so on and so forth. So yeah, I guess I could have killed Teferi instead of Darcy. That that could have been what I should, should have done a couple of turns ago. They have four cards. If they bolt this, I'm gonna give up. Like my hand is non-existent. And... All right, maybe they didn't have anything, and I just attacked the Teferi down. But they have five cards. They must have something. No, they just play a top land. Please, no. Is that Merc? That looks like a Merc to me. Yep. Mm, that's an eight eight. Have no answers for it. So, well, I guess I can Trump Attack plus Anoli Heat. Alrighty. That'll happen. If they have a counter spell. No, all right, I guess we keep on surviving. It's not a great life, but we're alive. It really depends on if my opponent finds the payoffs or not. Good. Okay, that's another Merc. All right, I give up. GG. Yeah, well done to Fairy. Maybe next time, when I have one counter spell in hand, I should just bolt a fairy because I could draw more. Okay, in the mirror match, I usually only want to bring in the mystical dispute. Cards I usually take out are two counter spell. Yeah, I think I'm gonna confirm that. I don't think I want to throw to fairy. Yep, yeah. dispute for a couple of counter spell, just improving my. Counters for selection, but I don't want to cut anything else. Yeah, the fairy, the fairy is good, especially good when you underestimate it and don't kill it. Then it's even better because because it just sits there, goes up, and lives forever. Let's go. Turn one, channel alert bubble. One model is to six. Let's go, channel alert bubble. Oh, Pierce, uh, I think this is fine. Uh, 
I like to have access to Spell Pierce, because with Dispute you can counter Merc Tide. With Spell Pierce you can counter the Iteration on turn 3. In the early game, Spell Pierce is good. In the late game, less so. I feel like I'm gonna pass now. And I'll deploy these. Go island, consider. Hmm. River, no. I will consider again. I'm already in delirium. Bubble, no. I'll go 3 3, and I'll go bubble. I don't necessarily want to fetch first. Okay. I can technically fetch a target myself and then fetch, but no, I see a Merc tied, so that's perfect. And pass. And draw the Merc tied. I played a lot of spell this game. <clears throat> it's turn three and I send cards in my graveyard. Look it to be eight. These is protection right now. I'm going to deploy the Merc that with double counter up. Should be should be good. It should be good this game. We'll we'll see of course, but <sighs> if they go to fairy huh. They just pass. Alright, they're shocking. I'm just gonna get the yellow fountain tapped here. Well, let's begin by attacking first. Not to think whether I want to uh, just pass. Because it's very likely that they have uh, Arc may charm end of turn. Yeah, I feel like I don't want to... I'm just gonna shock here and pass. And just spell pierce the Arc may charm end of turn. Wow, they don't cast it. Okay. Huh. What do they cast? Iteration? Yeah. Yeah, I told you about the spell pierce. This is an early game, and by early game I mean by turn short 4. Really good because it always counters iteration. Later in the game, it's not that good, so that's why you get send another merc and get rid of a merc. Since I have a second one, I might like not fight over the first one or something like that. Okay, they're shocked again. They don't have delirium. Huh. Yeah, now we're gonna cast one. Although, opponent's gonna play counter spell, and what do I do? I just, I just let it go. Yeah, I just let it go. I think. That's fine to me. I'm not gonna fight over this. Us. Need to keep up counter so for their Merc. I was gonna get Delirium as well. Okay. Interesting, I think I would have kept the bubble, but okay.
No, maybe it's not. It's better like this, actually. Yeah, it's better to be in the bubble. It's the same, but you draw the card later. If you like the card or not. Yeah, yeah, it's better. Yeah, exactly. Keep counters for theirs because I have a second one. If they drop an 8-8, eight, eight, I don't have a way to, to kill it. This is a consideration for hitting a candler in the graveyard instead of a spell. Yeah. Ooh. How big is this? Can I check? It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave it on top. Okay. Alright, this game is getting interesting now. One has one card in it and the scry on top. I'll begin by attacking for three here. They don't block, interesting. I can only hit the channeler, see the top card, and then play Merc Tide. I think that's what I'm gonna do here. Because right now, this would be my third spell. If I find another one, it's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. Wait, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Then I hit Delirium. But that's fine. Uh, if I'm able to cast another Mystical Dispute, then I will um, have Delirium again. Very interesting game. Consider. Okay. If I hit one less spell earlier and hit the Channeler, this would have been an 8-8 eight eight now. That would have made a big difference. I think that was a mistake, because I knew my opponent would have countered the first Merc, so I should have exiled the creature instead of a spell, and now I would have had one more spell in my graveyard. There's a lot of thought going on into the mirror match, for sure. Okay, so they drew the card. Fairy. So I go back to Delirium. Oh, I win the game. Alright, GG. I was very ahead this game, the fact that my opponent uh, was able to fight my Merc Tide and let resolve theirs, the combination of these cheap counters, it was very good, but you know. We are unfortunately back after a power, power outrage, I think it's the word. And I lost on time the previous match. It happens. It happens. So we are now uh, yeah, one and two. The game was the third game was actually close. I mean, anything could have happened, but yeah, these things happen, and uh, one of the risks of uh, <laughs> yeah, doing what I do, I guess. Uh, hardly this also killed MTG bot. MTG bot? Hello? MTG bot does not appear to be back yet, but we are 101. Okay, let's go on to play with a turn one of Ragabun. Pass. So what are we facing now? The mill. 
Could be a push, could be a thought seize, probably a push. Wow, let me untap. Very risky. What if I have a spell pierce or a counter spell? Oh, let me just attack with Ragavan first. I guess my opponent doesn't have a removal spell. Alright. Let's play Chandler. I think it's gonna be Island. Yeah. Do you play for seasons? Yes. One job, Mercado. Okay, I'm going to go consider now Graveyard. Graveyard. Where are the spells? Are right, it is. Opponent kept a one lander. Okay. I will go iteration here before I go to fairy. We land drop in end iteration here. I can't really break. But that's gonna be the reason it wasn't gonna go. And bottom. Exile, and I'll play the Ragaban off of a events. The third one, the milled one with Delirium. Sure, you can thoughts as me. Okay, to take the fairy. Yeah, I think this game is over. That's Shadow. Oh, cool, I can cast that. Let's play iteration first. Uh, I'm gonna go... And bottom. Exile. Not actually going to cast it. I think Island. Because this is my last white card. I can go well Merc Tide. What are the ways they can deal with the fairy? Is that Bloodshift Thirst? I think that's the blue black shadow deck with the uh, Merc that Regent as well. Okay, that cast one shadow. And this member. Alright, drop. Nice. On shadow, I'll play. Uh, Merc that Regent. I played an 8 8. I think so, right? 1, 2, 3. No, actually, I can't. 6 6 will be fine. I don't have Delirium at the moment, but I just play an instant and I have Delirium. Usually, this deck doesn't play Planeswalkers, so you never hit that type of Delirium, but here we do. Gonna be fine. I replay Shadow? No, what's that? This is their own their own Merc that Regent, I think. Okay, how big it is? 7-7, seven, seven. that's bigger than mine. Mm, I think I don't mind in attacking and then bolting. I'm very far ahead, I just... I, I, I can just eat the two for one and... That's okay. Because if I don't deal with that... They can just attack the fairy, and then, I don't know. Maybe I should have, yeah. This was wrong. 
probably wrong. Sorry. Should have just not do anything. What did they do there? They attack my... They attack my Teferi? Sure. I have two counters in the end and the Merc that is lethal, yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna steal the the shadow. Because I have the fiery eyelet. And autumn exile. And attack and then bubble you. I guess by, by doing that trade I just prolonged the game for no real reason. I don't think I can lose. Color, bubble you, okay. Okay. Draw a card. Play Merc. Pass. Put on two lands on turn nine. We'll eventually concede the game. That was over a long time ago. Okay, so I'm playing against Demir Merc Tide. I think I'm gonna sideboard in the same. Uh, maybe. Sp oh, so they don't have iteration, but they have Drown. I'll say in the same way. They also have a uh, Thoughtseize counterspell. It's just bad against Thoughtseize. I might also have Explosive to deal with to deal with the Shadow. I think Merktide is on top of the other decks. No, no. One of the tier ones of the format, but in modern is there's no there's no clear clear winner. Bunch of decks at the top with the cascade and the four color. Changing the speed for counterspell might seem like a waste of sideboard slot, but the difference between um, one and two in counter wars is a big deal. And this is not a monodimensional counter like Flash of Storm or Spell Pierce. It can also go on things like Merc that Regent. You want to bring in unlicensed hers. That's true. I should. I should. You know what? Let's try it. I should have also brought it against uh, Izzet Merc Tide earlier. I guess I didn't consider it, but it, it, I actually put in the server for this match of my bed. Yeah. That's right. There it is. Boom, boom. When you cast this on Arena, it does a wonderful sound. Like, vroom. Vroom. I'll be a license. 
you can also exile your own Gregor to pump the regent. Actually, we won a game against Mill uh, the other day this way. Buongiorno, Simolone. I'll see you tonight at the Popper tournament. Popper, Popper. All right, thought sees. That's fine, my hand's perfect. You can take anything you want. Murky boy you took, wow. Sure. All right, let's go. Turn one, Ragaban. Mm-hmm. You don't have a second land again? Come on. How about I go for my Bloom Bloom here? That's true, let's see what it does. Yeah, hold the bubble for the channeler. I'm gonna go channeler. Bubble number one. Always get some ATB off your channeler if you can. Yes, I could. Oh, this member? Not this member? Which member opponent? Oh, this. This is one right here. Okay. To consider to extrapolate more surveil triggers. Ah, actually, that one. Hmm. Let's go graveyard as well. Nice. That's a good drop. Okay, I have one more surveil trigger. I like that one. Bubble. Then I'm gonna vroom vroom these two, and then I pass. Prep keep, let's do the top card. Another fatal push, the so missile line drop again. Cool. Buongiorno, Matte. Matte, we had a little hiccup earlier. That actually killed the, the, I don't know why, it killed the Streamlabs things and MTG bot and everything. You coming to the IGS for the league this evening? Yes! I'll be playing some popper tonight. Is Earth good against Living End? What do you want me to say? No, it's terrible. Exiling cards from the graveyard is the worst way. I think I'm not doing anything here. I just eat a card and pass. I don't want to play. Actually, you know what? I'll play Charm. I should have. Ah, that was a mistake. I should have played Charm before activating the Hearse. But if they counter this, I I'm gonna. Little time for six. I'm gonna dash Ragaban here. Hope I can find something powerful because I don't have anything going on. Murktai? Dotsies. A bit. Rim. Hmm. So the shadow is a 6 6. What if I take Fatal Push here? And pass. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, the computer restarted, the power went out, and then like all my things disappeared. The MTG bot, the, 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 I guess Channel Fireball video is still going strong up there. That's that shadow, nice. So yeah, we win the game. Cool, cool. No, we have a land. But, but they can cast another spell, so I think we still got it. Does it go Anoli? Oh, actually. Anoli, he doesn't kill that. 
Non ho niente, ho un tap qui. Ma se io perdo questo game, cosa succede, per essere onesto? Yeah, I have nothing. And yet, I just play a top land and pass. I guess I should play this in case I draw the fairy. Maybe a license hers would be big enough. Right now it's a seven. What are you afraid of? What do you mean? In general, in life, dying? That's my worst fear. I also am afraid of heights, which I guess also comes up with dying as my fear. The misplay earlier, ouch. What misplay earlier, ouch? What's the crew cost, too? It's okay. Attack with that. This is free. It's free if they block with a 9 9. It's not free anymore. It's free for them because they kill their creature for free. 3 6 9. Okay. E tre sei da nine, all right. Time to make them chump a block. Ooh, actually, I'll have lethal now. I'll go Ragaban. That's cool that I didn't kill the shadow. Sorry, that I didn't kill the dotty white walker end of turn. But no lead. I'll go lightning bolt. And then a no unlicensed hearse goes vroom vroom. Vroom vroom. Oh wow, they had a visit in, I didn't consider it. I guess no boom boom boom. Oh no no no, it's fine, it's still nine. Okay, we got it. And then, boom, boom. A licensers. I don't, honestly speaking, like sure, opponent did literally nothing cool, but what did I do? <laughs> what did I do this game? Not that much. This made so that opponent couldn't play Merc, and that was just a 9 9 at some point. Alright, we got. We're 2 1 despite losing this, the second match to this connection. Which is really a shame because the game was really close, the, the, that third game. On the video I'm gonna only show the the first and second game. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tease with the third one. Because I actually am disappointed as well. Because I mean not only because I lost, but also because the match was really close and it was interesting to see how to play it. Chi 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 chi, I played against this yesterday, but I can't remember what they were playing right now. I think I bought him, I can say it already, of iteration as a cantrip. Whenever my hand is good, I don't, kick, don't care about consider. From one to Ragaban, just like every game so far, basically.
Lanwar Reborn, okay. They're playing that deck. Hardened Scales. I uh, think I'll go Bubble, Otawara, Bubble U, Arkbar Ravager, sure. And pass, you can have counters. I don't want to go Iteration, sacrificing the treasure token. Of course, it's a valuable play, but I don't like it. Morning, Ayonski. Relic, whatever, I was literally going to counter everything. Anything, I mean. And green, red, and artist. Uh, first attack. Ooh, Shadow Spear. Probably play this one. Then I'll play Duration. I think I wanna just do hand bottom exile. Then I play bubble. A bubble you. What do I see? A torment script. Really? A torment script? And a relic? We're playing main deck a bubble. I'll play your shadow sphere. I pass. Tresoro! Tresoro, I don't know what's going on. The desktop audio didn't work. It's just a bunch of things happened, I guess. Should be working. Why wasn't it working? I didn't hear the turu turu. Hmm. I just, uh, there was a, a restart of the game and I think it just killed Streamlabs. Hello, Jacob. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just upset that um, Streamlabs isn't working now. No turu turu sad. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No turu turu. Hello, he wants, they want to put the counter here. I have a bet behind me. put the Yeah, neither the alert pop up in the stream. I think that the sound, the volume actually is fine. It's just that Streamlabs is dead. Despite the streaming working, it doesn't see the, the, the things. I guess I would need to restart the computer, which I'm not going to. Hey, you want to graft on this? Graft it up. You don't graft on it. And the tournament script. Pretty pogs. Hey, uh, I need to find Murky. Murky! Murky! Where are you? Ooh, I can steal the wasps. Hmm. You put out me. I have delirium now. Are you are you sure about this play? Okay. So I could steal the zbz the zbz zbz zbz. I think first I want to play iteration. Hmm. So Connor's play is for the Arkbar Ravager that's sitting in their hand. And uh, the Anoli Heat will be, be fired off now. The thing is that, do I want to steal the... Nah, I think Walking Barista can stay there. Pretty harmless. No, no, never mind. If I kill this, they, 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 yeah. No, I have to kill walking barista. And then I just do take two damage past the turn. Mmm. Come a saga opponent, you're not supposed to play that card. You're just supposed to play like, you know, weak creatures. Oh.
That's really sad. It's okay, I still need to murk that regent and I'll be fine. Can we get a murky boy? No. And not. <laughs> and bottom exile. Play Chandelier. How's the turn? What's the record? For two and one. Extreme Labs doesn't work. I guess I could put it on Manoli, but I also hate to write that I'm 2 1 because I actually haven't lost a match. So I just pretend. Ooh, what's this now? Operation Core. Second percent after you gain a life. That's the Wusps. Hmm. I'll take it. It's just 2 damage. Oh, that's okay, cast so fuck with. Remove a counter from a permanent you control, choose one. Alright, I don't even know what that does. Honestly, I won't read it again. I'll just spell Pierce and that will not pay. I won't pay because they have saga going. Anyway, let me put this bolt in the graveyard. Where am I murk tied? Murky? Murky, please? Our conduct let them fetch with Saga every turn? No way. Is that true? Is that a combo? This preserves a Saga? It looks like it is because they're paying for it. Wow. Remove a counter from primary control. Okay. Oh. I'm very far away from delirium. If I go Arc May Charm steal this, they don't have a way to they can just remove a counter and put a charge counter on target arc. Whatever, let's just remove a counter on this. Would I be fine with that? Probably it's not a good play. What if I just draw two cards here? I think that's what I'm doing. Does it both look for Delirium? Okay, perfect. And Merc died. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just tap out and go for Merc died. And then, uh... I'll see what's the worst that I can do. They're playing with power, yeah. Two mana eight eight flyer. Unfortunately, I only arrived now, but that's okay. Game one, yes. Now they can do a certain combo. Let's see. So the search for your library is going on, and they. Oh, they moved the counter from here to here. So this became a 4 4. And now the saga will tutor up a, career, a card, but it won't die. Wow, that's the combo. A -c 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 combo! I think that's worth sharing. Alright, they got animation module and put into play an Arkmar Ravager, which puts into play a servo.
All right, they passed the turn. Cool. Bro. Uh, you have flying? No, right? You need white mana to get flying. You don't have white mana. Uh, okay, so let's begin with the Mishra's Bubble. Surveil. That's Delirium. Are they, are they dead? Can they fly? Oh yeah, we think about Nexus? Sure. So that's 11, 12. Yeah, I think I win, right? I just equip this. That for 12. I only hit the blocker. And I win. Can they do something about the Anoli Heat? They don't have Arkma Ravage during play. I love that our opponent wanted to do all the fancy stuff with this combo. We just got Merc Tide goes brrrr. You thought they took a break today. Mango taking breaks? What? Taking breaks for what? He does 6 damage. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You know who took a break today? My power, at some point. They took a break. Why just guy over blue red? Because I am a content creator. And in order to create content, I have to change 3 cards. So it looks like it's a new cool thing and people watch the video. Opponent is doing a strange thing. What is that? No, vabbè. They're putting a counter on Urza Saga. No, vabbè, non ci credo. Where do you find all these plays, opponent? Okay. What does that give to you? Another relic? Is that relic and Thomas kept in the graveyard already? They got a drum. No, vabbè. Should they give this flying? <laughs> it's fine. We got this. We still got this. Flying. I'll play Anoli Heat. Deal 6 damage. But I. No one. No one saw this coming. And then we bolt a face. Ta -ta -ra -ta -ra. Ta -ra 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 -ta -ra. Great win for the team. Bzzz. Thank you, Shadow Spear, for providing the last point. Shadow Traitor, they said. Yes. Press down. Explosives engineered. Kataki, Wars Wage, look at that. Subtlety? Mm. Mm, Teferi actually can bounce the. I don't think enough. This card just shuts off Affinity. The deck that we played yesterday. It's gonna be on the YouTube channel on Monday. No, maybe not. No, no, never mind. It's gonna be on the YouTube channel on Saturday. So that's okay. I get confused. Sometimes I plan on these videos. Ooh, turn one saga. That's always spicy. An arcbound worker. I'll go bubble target myself. I see a steam vent. Hmm, maybe. Don't want it. You like Mono Blue Affinity? I think it's a fine deck, yeah. It does well. I mean, whenever I play it, I always get, like, fine record. It's not, like, a tier one, but, uh... 
Power Condit. Okay. Opponent got once again the power. They want to do the. Oh, yeah, I can't. They want to do the Saga Power Conduit combo, but little did they know. Little did they know that I'm going to go Kataki first wage. Go to 13. Um, pass, upkeep, pay, pay the tax. Mr. Leslie Cho, you can check my YouTube channel to see two videos with Ledger Shredder. One with four copies and one with... Oh, they paid both taxes. Wow. Earth is not good enough for the main? No. Not. Okay, Earth is a saga. What do you tutor? They have the combo that they did previously. Or is a saga plus power conduit? Ever turn the tutor up? What is the impressive attack? It's not. They got spring lift drum. Huh. Sure. Pay for that as well. No, don't play walking barista. Eh? Don't. Don't play walking barista. Okay. <laughs> hmm. What do you think they do here? Oh, I think I just pass. I think I just pass American Charm. I want to see what they do. You have to pay four artifacts. Granted, you have the mana. Kataki is a legend for Otawara? I didn't think about it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, could have spent three mana on this. Hmm, that's true. Maybe I should have flipped the fiery at it. I was like, I'm never gonna hit four mana for this. I mean, obviously I will, but I prefer to do other things. So they go Arkma Worker to Modular on the Ravager. Okay. And then you have to spend the mana. Yeah, actually, I really wish I had Otawar in my hand, eh? Really wish I did. That's a shame I didn't. Yep, so they pay. Could have bound Saga with this. I mean, I didn't know that it was 3 mana, so in my mind, I couldn't have done anything. Discount, the secret discount. Happens with Ragavan, but. <laughs> no, <laughs> never done that before. Never the Kataki in Merktai Battlefield, to be honest. Yeah, the Arkbar Ravager is gonna be very good. I hope they cast something like a walking ballista because you can dress down in response and the, the zero zero dies. Same with Ravager. If you dress down in response that's coming to play, it dies because it has no ability, it's a zero zero. Well the jar. That's fine. They have one card in hand. Did I just draw two? Because I can cast a couple of consider. Maybe that's a little bit better. I really don't know how to win this game anymore now. Okay, for now let's take this five. And then I think I want to just draw two. I can like dress down plus an only heat. I think that's my way out.
What do I miss in the graveyard? Sorcery. Okay. I mean, it's not easy. Allora, I could go consider. Or I can just go channeler, land pass, and just chump block with channeler. I don't exactly know. Because they have the, the welding jar as well. I have explosives in my deck, one. Okay, it looks like they suck the Welding Jar, though. On the Ravager. Yeah, I'm just getting outgrinded by Power Conduit plus Urza Saga. Do you make a single um single construct token? Yep. Okay, so what if what if I go dress down now? How do you think my opponent is going to react? No, I think I have to hold it. I have to hold it a tiny bit more. Hmm. Put a plus one plus one on a target creature. Okay, let's just put a person kind of here. Okay, so if I go dress down now, I could hit Delirium and I could kill the Ravager. Yeah, I think it's time that I cast Dress Down. There it goes now. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately the Anoli Heat is not going to kill the Ravager. Explosives? Oh wow. Okay, let's see what I put into play with the saga. Man, this game is super hard. What's my timer? 13 minutes. Okay. I'm two hour in this league and it's only game two of round four. This league is long. Formal script. Forest. I have to jump block. I might even jump block with Kataki. I should have jump blocked the Kataki. I'm gonna go expose this for two. Yeah, I didn't think about it. You have thought about it. 
I lost the channeler. Rip channeler. I guess I can go Kataki. Mm, no. No, I have to go. Uh, Will I put this in the graveyard? No, I think I like the land. Um, I have to crack the explosives now because this way they can't put the modular on any creature. Yeah, so I'm going to fetch Island. Play Channeler. Man, I could have had two Channeler in play if only I played better. Uh, so let's go Channeler. Let's go Explosives on two. And let's crack them now. So I'm going to kill both the Power Conduit and the Ravager. Uh, oh, that's Graveyard. And then I crack this. The opponent finally doesn't have the combo power conduit plus there is a saga anymore. So again. I lost Kataki. It's a big loss. But my opponent has two cards in hand. A saga goes to three. And they just have these two. Long game. They got animation module. Top three, choose a counter on a target permanent. You get another one. Okay. Play on back walker. Good. Niggas on my graveyard. Alright, we'll start rebuilding the graveyard. Uh, so instant sorcery. What can I do here? Probably cast another channeler. Yeah, go. Go hand bottom. Exile. Play this. And I'll play this. Okay. I got Delirium, and attack. Not bad. This one I should have probably gone to Fairy Bounce, though. I honestly just didn't realize my left total was so low. Yeah, that's bad. I didn't realize it was so low. I can easily die now. If I, if I went to Fairy, Bounce Construct would have been better. Yep. Hoping not wait to trigger for Kataki. Is that they make a Construct and they put the counters from Arba Ravager on it. Plus they can remove a counter from Saga. So it was a bunch of reasons why I didn't want to wait. I go to one. No, I don't go to one. Oh, okay, never mind, I lost. It was not an easy game. It's a really hard game. Maybe I had the cards to win. Starting by the Otawara that I played. But it definitely was not easy. Okay, next game. On the play, I won the Ragabonds. I'm going to cut the counter spells on the play. I'm going to make this change here.
Let's go. <sighs> Second land, do I want it? Ah, oh, it's graveyard it. Especially since I like the land might be the hardest. Not the hardest, but okay, they have a saga on top. It's just for the Lear, because I want a Delir on turn two here. So I beat the land. Zehu endures into Relic. That's gonna make my Delirio plans harder. And I got Delirium. I can pass. All right, that's a turn to Saga. We have Dress Down for the Constructs, although the opponent doesn't really make much Construct. A lot of Honest Workers. Get my white mana. Draw. Ooh, Ragaban. Attack. They can't correct Relic, so they'll take three more. Then I think I want to go Iteration. Mm, I like land. And bottom Zile. Play it is yes, play Ragaban. Go. <sighs> so like a ghost to two. If I go dress down, remember that the channeler loses delirium. So just a one one. Okay, so I'm gonna sacrifice an article to gain a life. Okay, they play walking baris. Hmm, they attack me. They're all they want. <laughs> But here I'm assuming that we'll, uh, we'll pop the Relic in combat. Maybe there's a world in which I get Delirium immediately. Now let's just go to combat for now and attack with both. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put a counter on the walking ballista. What if now? What if now I go? If I go kill spell on ballista, they crack the relic in response. And then ping the channeler. I think it's fine. I'm not I'm not losing very much. And I guess the Walling Jar can bolt again. Hmm. I think I like Teferi. But they're, they're probably gonna go crack relic, shoot the channeler. 
Oh, they do this first. Okay, regenerate. The one regeneration shield goes. Now, I still want to bolt this in response. And I still leave this on top. They exalt the graveyards, and then they shoot my channelers. Channeler. Yep. Okay, and I'll play a top land and pass. You dress down resolving after welding job remove or generate. Uh, maybe I didn't think about that. Another Urza Saga for them. Hmm. Draw. Get Fairy. A bounce the Urza Saga for the Construct. For the one above. I think I'll bounce the Construct. Alert. How common in Italy is to speak English? Well, every every children studies English as the first language in the Euro in the European Union, I'm sure. Alright. Other attacking. Alright, rip the fairy. Still not using these dress downs. I might be slow rolling them too much. The third saga, wow. Okay, so they got Angerback Walker. This one is uh is good if I play uh doesn't respond. Okay, I am going to crack the fiery eyelet and attack for I guess play another of these and then attack for two. One goes to eight. Regenerate at the counter? No, it doesn't. Pass. Yeah, yeah, it does. English is uh, for sure the second language of uh, the European EU, the European Union countries. Hmm. They float mana. Okay. You got Tormat script. Yep. So that's gonna remove uh, once again the Lyrium. For the like third time or something. Uh, it's just wasted mana. Ooh. One is an eight. Attack with that. Okay, I take five. Did it cast a spell? When they have Saga up? I guess they're playing around dress down. They pass here, go attack with both. They crack the relic. So I begin by attacking with everything. Because that's mandatory. Now let's see what they do. We're in combat. So first they kill my graveyard. Sure, rest in peace. And then... I'm 
And then I make a token. Okay. Okay. I'll let him block. They go block, block. I go dress down. Yep. So that the modular doesn't happen when the worker dies. Yeah, the construct of that you dress down. But this way I also kill the worker. Help here, Snope. Charm? Actually, that's a pretty good card. I'd love to draw it. Draw a card. The Arkbound Worker. I can also annually heat the Arkbound Worker now. No, I think I'm gonna... I'm not gonna annually heat the Zabaz here. No, maybe not. No, maybe just pass. If if there's an end, I have to hold up dress down. I'm almost delirium again, and I'm almost in timing. It has been so complicated. So complicated and so long. You make another token, so you don't want to play the Angabak Walker. Okay. And that's the third saga, what you go get with that one? You got Witch's Oven? That's weird. Okay, uh, do I do something? I guess I can draw two cards here. Hopefully I get Delirium. Perfect. That's Delirium, draw two cards. Okay. Draw. Attacky, that's powerful. Alright, let's begin by attacking. Once again, that's mandatory. We got a five. I can't a fury bounce the construct because they suck it for food. They don't even draw a card. I mean, now I just drop a Kataki. Or one of. I mean, if we play this deck, you really, you really just go off through your deck. Like, I've seen 30 cards with channelers and draw cards and iterations. What's that? This member? Oh my. Okay, you're three life. Sure. Like attacky. And I'll pass. Attack is also huge for time because it just takes so much time out of the opponent in upkeep. Yeah, upkeep, five triggers. Yeah, I think this game was, was played well. The patience on the dress down was very important. We were able to handle three sagas. Okay, so you cut a construct and made two food. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's like so hard right now for them. They sacrifice and regenerate the Zabaz. Sure. Well, which is oven? You pay for it. Wow. This doesn't seem like a great card to pay for.
And they just let the Zamas die. He's definitely not gonna book Walker. I go. Okay, they don't do anything. Sure. Take my turn. Draw. I'll dash Ragavan. You have to suck a food to go to five and then I go to one. I pass. Oh, I hit the O's a little. Sure. I pass. That's really good at. I mean, obviously it was like a super long game that maybe sometimes kind of boring. I don't know. I feel like my content <laughs> happens to be like this a lot of the time. I think it's... The play dress down in response. And this one comes into play and dies. GG. Yep. All right. Ooh, mamma mia. Okay, so yeah, this was this was a well played game. The only loss so far has been to the 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 power, the power that went out in game three in the mirror. That's okay. Count the drawing champ is nice, yeah. Yeah, dress down is very good against Urza Saga decks. Is both kills the saga, but also just often shuts off what their deck tries to do. What's the time? Ooh, we're running. Very, 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 very long league today. It's gonna be a long video for the Merktide aficionados. A lot of, lot of content to watch. Okay, last match on the play. Turn one, Ragavan. No, I didn't know it was possible to not draw turn one, Ragaban. Did not draw, did not know it was possible. I felt like every game I was in the play, I went turn one, Ragaban. Okay. It was calling turn. And it's your turn. That's a colonnade? Oh my, is this gonna be another hour match? I don't feel it. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's control if I've seen one. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's good. I'm 
Unfortunately, I don't have a fetch land to cast Merc this turn. I think I'll crack an Islet. I haven't played against Control in a long time with Merc died. Last time I was, I remembered I was taking out the Dragon's Right Channeler. So you can do the same. I want them to draw two cards. Okay. We can dash Ragabon. See what they have. Maybe Fire Ice? They just tap it? Not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll play Merc. And pass. Marinos is still good? Yes. Look at that. You have to... I haven't played it in a while. If I would play it, I think I would just run uh, Punica's Remand. That's true. The Remand. I would run Endurance Main. I had to play Team Orion. Okay. Fine. Now you can prismatic end in it. Oh, they don't. I guess. I guess they don't. I thought I would get it back at my opponent's end step. Huh? Yeah, up and up, so the trigger goes on the play first. Okay, they just go land go. I can now use the all of the storm giants. It's okay, I'm trading it. I'm trading for the hall as ward three. And pass. And the resources to kill a land, that's not ideal. Okay, Teferi or Dominaria. Another only heat for that. 
Unless they go Charlie's on one, I guess. the waffle type of version are nice and oct no companion I'll fight over this with a counter spell. This is my last uh, resource. If they have more answers, I'll I'll lose the. That's okay. But I can't afford to let this die. If four, if five cards, if they have answers, uh, I'll lose. It. The fairy minus isn't necessarily an answer. But the fairy plus. So that means they have an additional answer, like a solitude. No. Back to fairy. Oh, yeah, with a wire, that's true. I actually saw it with the. <laughs> The bubble a few turns ago. Let's see if they have an answer for the Merc. They have four cards. They could have a lot of Prismatic Ending and other Worldly Light. Actually, the Worldly Light kills Merc Tide. Whereas Ending doesn't ever. Right, two. Mm hmm. What did this guy? Top, bottom. I wouldn't mind drawing a spell for a change. Pass, let's see if they scry with the castle. They don't. Alright, I'll attempt to bold the here now. I'll uh, give up. Okay, theory, subtlety, dispute. License hurts? Yeah, I think I need threats. Just random threats. Another minute. Alright, I want to check out bolts. I want to take out spell pierce. What if I also take out consider and just become like a super threat dance deck? Rather than taking out the channelers and becoming a threat like that. Hmm? Is this an approach that we can take? Having like the random threats instead of cantrips and conditional counter. Bubble. Hmm. Let's try this plan. Probably won't work, but uh, I can. I want to see. Right, let's go. You put a channel so they're not a target for ending. Yeah, that was the thing, but now I have a license first. Use another channel. So we need to take out that and that. Plus, I think you need Jace for that plan to work. I don't have Jace. I don't think their their plan that plan cannot work.
I my land, okay. Plus we have Teferi, so that's another card to Prismatic end in. I don't want to cast Iteration, I think it's a little bit too early. I have enough lands, I don't need to cast Iteration. Okay, so they go to 17. That's good. Not gonna fetch in the turn. Uh, yeah, and now we'll cast the iteration. Oh wow, that was the fairy. I claim main fate. Yeah. If I got delirium, uh, I think a graveyard. Not a bad card. I'm gonna be wrong. Is that at plenty of? I don't know what I was. I know what I was thinking. All right, <laughs> that was the obvious um, iteration. Also, I was looking for delirium, so like a creature or a artifact put in the bin or a planeswalker at right that. Iteration. Okay, first I want to play this. And then I want to play Iteration. I'll cut these two. I got dispute, it's fine. Everything in the graveyard. Maybe that one is too good to put in the graveyard. No deliver on turn six. No creature, no artifact. I put a bubble in the sideboard, so that's a mistake. They should kind of land it. Will it go to Sofia or Copenhagen? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably, yes. I'll definitely be in Bologna. I simply attack him fast here. I don't play with Tawara, because this can bounce things. I have enough lands, I'll just draw two cards there instead. They don't have the land that scries, so... Hmm. Okay, now Delirium with this beautiful Madly Mage. Opponent has Colonnade. This one can only steal no land. What about this? Yeah, it can bounce a land as well. Auto War. I draw the fairy, and uh, I think I attack. I put in if they fire off the colonnade, then I can bounce it with Ozawara. Do 
the wandering emperor counter target spell uh, I think I want to scry island hmm might not be that bad. I think I'm gonna leave it on top. Hmm, probably it's better. I go to five, and I pass. I want to cast Otawara. It's my answer to the Celestial Colonnade. Next turn, they go to Fairy here in Dominaria, and they take it up, and they play a land. They play a solitude now, okay. And you see two life. Now I can go to fairy. Charity Cup, a licensed nurse. Radio. I could have exiled in my turn because of a snuffcast remain. Opponent is on two life. They're gonna gain three up to five. situation I probably won't be able to get out of it oh wow they fire off the colonnade they kill my teferi I guess Yep. Wouldn't mind drawing Merc. Merc. Alright, that's the end of this video.